Welcome back to Farmer Joy. On this episode, I'm sharing a three yard cement mixer. My father purchased it probably around 30 years ago, and it's been a really reliable cement mixer. It's got an old 1950s Hercules motor on it, and it does three yard capacity. That bucket that I have on my skid steer is a half yard bucket. I gotta make sure that I get it nice and full. The skid steer we have just barely fits it up into that uh, hopper there. That is uh, where I've got the Portland cement. And I pour bags in there one at a time. You can see that the wind is uh, blowing in my direction. Now you do not want to breathe in Portland cement or get it in your eyes. If you get Portland cement in your eyes, you must wash your eyes out immediately. Don't delay. It is, uh, you lose your sight. It dries out, uh, dries out the liquid in your eyes. And uh, I know, I've been there, done that. It's not cool. I lost my sight for, well, I had blurred vision for at least two weeks. But I have regained all my sight, so. But just for uh, precaution, when they have those warning labels, it, it really means something. So you can see that I'm running back and forth. Uh, the hopper that I have doesn't really hold the material. It just plugs up a lot. So I have to climb up there and shovel it in every now and then. I grabbed the little bit out of the chute there. Should be, I would do three yard, three scoops, and then I'd try to put all my Portland in, and then three more. Uh, so that would equal up to uh, three yards, half yard bucket in each time. So I'm gonna be pouring a cattle guard. And that's it, all formed up. I had my brother uh, help me form this up. I will do another video on the forming of cattle guards later on, but for right now, this is all I really had um, to show. So, yeah, it's a uh, big cattle guard. Well, I'll describe more about it later. Thanks for watching.